Okay, I think we're good here. How's everything going, guys? Hope you all have had a great weekend. I think we'll go ahead and get started here. Just a moment, let me switch it over to correct input. We'll get ready to play some Mario Party 7. I know what y'all have been up to today. It was pretty cloudy, mostly where I'm at, but I made the most of the day. In fact, the entire weekend was all about relaxing for me, so. I'll wind it down before you have to worry about going to work tomorrow, but before I do, let's play some Mario Party 7. The cruise themed Mario Party, if you will. It's been a while since I've been on a cruise, although, I, well, I guess I shouldn't say that. Okay, yes, and I forgot there's no mic inserted. Well, I'm not going to bother too much with the mic, at least this time around, since I think the mic doesn't really have a huge reach. And where I'm sitting and where my computer is and where I'm placed, I don't even know if I'd be able to reach out that far anyway, so we're not going to worry about playing mic mini games, even though the game is making sure to let it be known to us. Hey. Alrighty. So I'm going to make a couple of changes for what I've done. Based on what I've done in the past, I've played on party mode and played against computers on, on the hardest difficulty possible. So, okay, so I had my mic setting to on beforehand, but now I've changed it. Okay, I'm sure we'll have a smashing time with these stupendous minigames. Anytime I he see Toadsworth, I want to just read everything in his, uh, in, like, my Nigel Thornberry voice, if anything. Alright, no, I do not know how to play. Okay. Um, what do we want to play? I like all these boards, but, you know what? Grand Canal is nice. It's basically the main course. Well, you know what? I like the I like Pagoda Peak, but no, we're gonna focus on kind of an Italian-based setting. So let's go to Grand Canal. And same thing is gonna go 15 turns, all games, no handicap. It'll just be me, myself, and I against three other computers. Still choose Toadette, and the other cool thing in this game is you can actually do a random selection for you if you want. I'll leave the computers on normal this time, so I'll at least have a fighting chance. Okay. Oh, okay, and of course the bonus. How can I forget about bonuses? <laughs> Alright then, let's get started! As we sail off to Italy... Welcome to Grand Canal. Er, Grand Canal. I was gonna say Grand Canal. That wouldn't be right. Okay, so with this board, of course, this is a basic board. If you never played a Mario Party game, this would be the ideal board to get yourself acclimated to the game, where all you're doing is just traveling around the board, just try to reach a star space. If you do, and you have 20 coins, you can pay for a star, and ultimately that's what you're wanting to collect to try to win this game. And so I'm sure you all know by now as based on the pow uh, party games we performed, but something different in this game, of course, is that every five turns, uh, Bowser is going to take out his aggression on us, because we didn't invite him on the vacation, or on the cruise. Although, I mean, I don't see why we would, because, I mean, he just would ruin everything, so... I mean, I'm talking about this, and I haven't noticed until just now I ended up getting... Uh, a roll, the lowest roll here, but that's okay. But yeah, so we'll get to see where the first um, star is. Not too far, but maybe we'll get some some things going, or we'll get some points. But we'll get started, but not before Bowser does his thing. <laughs> so he's gonna throw out three Koopa Kid spaces in, in a random spot, and just so you can see the cutscene. I want to see where these all land. That one, I mean, it would be important, too, in this case, to see where they all land, but... Not that man, I'm so evil. I love it. Can't quite do the Bowser voice that Chega has. I think he has a really funny Bowser voice. Okay. 
And orbs return in this game, so Oreo got himself a mushroom orb. There's the shop. And he's already at 13 coins, so pretty good turn if you can win whatever mini game we play for the first time. And give himself a chance to get that star since he has dibs. Being that he gets to go first, which I feel is a good advantage. When is it never a good advantage to, to go last? Uh, I guess there's some cases. Same spot. So what was that, an 8 that they both got? A hammer bro orb. You know, I just realized I haven't updated my settings here. Let me do that real fast. Okay. There we go. Should be updated. See how things are. All right, finally my turn. Oh, who got? Oh. Hey, what about that? I got an eight too. Twister orb for me. Same effect as in the other two games. Number three. I'll at least visit the orb shop, but I don't really plan on buying anything. Tuesday. Oh, you like my mouth uh, on your mushrooms, don't you? Uh, if you don't have a date, love the one you're with. Or you brought a friend? Oh, she just likes to watch? Undateable. Tuesday after The Voice on NBC. Let's see. Oh, this one. This one's fine. You just basically are flying through the air and you're just trying to hit floating targets and whoever ends up hitting the most by the time you land wins. The game. Pretty simple. I think the controls are direct, I want to say. Are they direct? Yeah, they're, they're direct. Alright. Now we'll see how much of a difference the computer difficulty makes for them, considering that they're all on um, normal, which is what I typically play computers in the Yeah, I dominated. <laughs> the difference is pretty well known already. Okay. So now I should be able to get this star here. And um, here you'll see, of course, I said every five turns Bowser rages, but it builds up. His raid, that rage meter that you see there will build up at the end of every single turn before the um, start of the next turn, so. It'll build, and then of course once he gets, hits the max, and af after the fifth turn, after every fifth turn, then Bowser will do something to rain on the parade of everybody. And, they, and actually what he does varies on each board, but we'll get a chance to see what he does here on this board since we're at least going to be seeing him a total of, um, I guess technically it would be three, not two times, since, uh, since we're doing a 15 turn round. Hey, what? You do not have enough coins. That was terrible. Terrible, terrible British accent. My part, sorry, Toadsworth. Like I said, I'm not a good voice actor, or I wouldn't. I don't think I can make a good voice actor, considering that I don't really have a variety of what I can, how I can sound. Mike mini game for Boo. <laughs> but unfortunately, in this case, we're not playing the game since the mic, mic um, microphone setting is off. That game or that space is useless. So I don't feel bad. Alright, I got a big enough roll so where I can claim the first star of this game. Who has no coins? Or who has fewer than three coins? I find that hard to believe. I only dropped temporarily to third place, or as low as third place, before I grabbed that star. That was odd. That was very odd. I'm going to move the mic up a little bit better so maybe I can talk a little bit easier there. Hopefully it's not too boomy. I don't have a pee, pop, or pop filter, whichever you call it. Alright, let's see what the next star is. Where is it at? Okay, so it's up there, and with me being where I'm at, uh, I'm gonna have to take the long way up, so I'm gonna go this way. I don't even, I don't even see what was ahead. Okay, now I have no coins. 
and Boo had the same number of coins as me. That's why I had to drop to fourth. <laughs> Buzz Stormer, our first two v two mini game. Okay, this one's can be problematic, and the game just kind of froze on me there for a brief moment. So we're just moving left and right here, trying to dodge these dandelions and just try to get to the finish line first. And this one is, has a uh, records. Starts out pretty simple, but of course it'll get uh, a little bit more crazy. Okay, so I hit something for this first hit. Good, I'm not going to be able to make it. Oh, jeez, look at that. I only hit, I've only hit one item so far, or hit one daddy line so far. Oh, okay, make that too. Not bad. I have yet to experience going through that without hitting anything. But I think I did a pretty good, all things considered. I haven't played this game in forever as well. Alright. The only thing I hate about Mario Party 7, of course, is that we have to wait before every single turn start for that rage Bowser Rage Meter to um, build. And then the turn starts. Looks like I got a viewer. Hello, you who is viewing my stream right now. So, 14 moves for Birdo. And she's going the same direction I am. Pick up a Mushroom Orb to move even further. It's not a bad turn for her. I have to admit, if I were in Italy right now, I probably would be singing this song, or this would be the first song to come to my mind. Especially if I were sailing the canals. Which is actually the name of the song, by the way, is called Sail the Canals. Oh, it's too early to duel. Thankfully, Boo didn't choose me. That would have been terrible. Okay, well, I will sit back and s watch them duke it out. I like that, the Wheel of Whimsy. Looks like the same thing. Oh, Camp Kiki. This one is fun. I think this one's an obstacle course. Yeah, this is an obstacle course. And I like this one. This is one of my favorite dual mini games. So hard to cover your mouth whenever you have a microphone right next to it. I don't want to necessarily move the move everything. Alrighty. I cleared the first part easily. Oh, and of course they both fall. Let's fell again. Both of them aren't too good at this game, I guess. Well, while they're playing, I'm gonna quickly check and see if um, anybody else is streaming Mario Party 7. Hopefully, you guys don't hear any sound effects getting in the way. Of other things going on here, but I don't know if it's Mario Party 7 or not. Okay, and it looks like Birdo winning. Let's take 10 points to Boo. Okay, well. Okay, well. Let's try again a little later, my turn. It is indeed my turn. Alright, I'm gonna try to hamper Birdo a little bit. Can I throw this? Nope, I can't throw it that far. You're lucky! I'll have to hold on to it for right now until I can get close enough to Birdo to where I can actually throw it. What I get? Oh, Koopa Kid space! Oh, jeez, or a Koopa Kid orb. Thanks for nothing, random orb generator. Yep. <laughs> you have another chance to try to ruin my life. But I bet I'm just doing 15 turns. Okay, good. I fell short. Only problem is, Birdo has the turn advantage over me. So I think he'll. or she. I still want to call Birdo a she, even though technically it's like. a debate about Birdo 
being a, a girl or a boy based on the bow. Okay, so button mashing minigame. And I, I did not mean to hit the practice button. We're not practicing. This is pretty simple. It's a button mashing minigame. You're just trying to smash all the pokey body segments. Or the and I should be able to win this one. I can probably win this one not using my the button mashing technique I normally use, but go ahead and I think I got it. So that's actually one one button mashing minigame for once. Alright, let me while well, we're looking at the results, I wanna see if I can find the game I'm looking for, which is Mario Party 7. Only two more turns left before Bowser tries to ruin our lives. Okay, just only it's just only me. I didn't even okay. This is the, one of the special happening space bonuses where if you you get to basically take a gondola from one part of the canal to the next. And you get a chance to collect as many coins as you can. I don't even know if you can collect all of them. But you get docked on that end and then keep whatever coins you can collect, so looks like Wario got himself a good chunk of coins. Anyway, and now and for those who kind of not take any chances. <laughs> he's like, I need to make sure I don't get a one. You can't do that if you have to if you roll two dice blocks, that's for sure. Alrighty, so Birdo's got the second star of the game. He's now like 20 something coins back on the other. She's like 21 coins back of me now. Maybe. Maybe less than that. Oh, we're going backwards? Oh, they moved it back. This would be nice to time to actually have a reverse mushroom or something of that effect. Or something to that effect, rather. Oh, no. For a moment, I thought she was going to land on the DK space. Boo's going to get rid of his hammer, bro, or... The character spaces in this game actually look pretty cool compared to the last game, Mario Party 6. Alrighty. Well... I'll at least try to use an orb just so I can say I used one. Alright, hopefully nobody needs to feel, has the need to go that way. Oh, come on! Only one space? I didn't expect me to get anything done if I end up having to only go an average of like one to three moves per turn. Okay. This one's fun, I like this one. This one is like a race. No, I did not want to hit the practice button again. I wanted to. I just want to read the instructions. I'm like so anxious to get this done. Okay, so all we're doing is moving le right or left. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, I would say. Okay. Let's see, I'm in the bottom corner. Okay. I think this one also you can judge how fast you your record is. Oh, geez, it's so easy to get caught up there. It actually gets tighter as you go down, like there, and then you're going to be doing even more swerving out. I imagine computers on the hardest difficulty would have no problem. Finish. That was close. That was actually really close. Almost there. Oh, it's a twister orb. See, 
Okay, all right, that's right. Get rid of one of those Koopa Kid spaces. So that's one less opportunity for them to ruin our fun. All right, better roll this time. There you go. Eight is good. I'll take an eight. Oh, I say that, and of course now I have to get tormented by Koopa Kid. Ah, what are you gonna do? You swap your coins with, with whoever the wheel of bull picks. Wouldn't it be whomever? Okay, fine. Hopefully it's Wario. There you go. So I only lose seven coins. Could have been worse. That's not too bad of a loss, all things considered. So you only got to ruin my day one time so far. Oh, let's do the hop -um oh, I was hoping we could do hop -um matic 4000. Oh well. Again, what's with the sound kind of going in and out? That's weird. Okay, well this one's also fun too. This is, um, you get to take out spiders like a first person shooter. Well, not first person shooter per se, but something to give that to that degree. Okay. Alright, I hope you you got good aim. Oreo. Ah, oh, you suck. Alright. I wonder if that web got me. Come on, put the rapid fire in motion. Oreo. Anytime you want to fire Wario, go ahead, feel free. We got one more. So you got this big one. Oh, you hit me! Ugh, why did you hit me? No, how? Hate you. I don't know how how many hits you have to take to defeat that thing. Alrighty. And it is Bowser time for the first time. So we get a chance to see how Bowser, or what Bowser does to make our lives miserable. Now, this is my kind of town. I'm going to open my own store right here and I'm going to crush the competition. Now, he means that literally. So one of the things he'll do here is he'll take out one of the stores for a short amount of time and of course he'll open up a store which basically means that uh, <laughs> just like by what he says here he'll sell you something whether you you need it or not I think the only pa I'm not sure if he'll make a pass if you have the three items already in place but he may some re find some kind of reason to take your coins I don't know but yeah you want to avoid that for now and anyways but I'm sure somebody's going to need to have pass by it but Anyway, Wario landed on the DK space for the first time. I like this version of the song that we get to see. Oh, well, too bad we don't get to capitalize on him doing it since he gets to play a single player minigame. You can play either single player minigames of this uh, or multiplayer games, and you get to randomly select a prize. And oddly enough, they put a star on there, and of course, that's what he gets to select, so. Basically, now he has to just beat the mini game, and then he'll get the star. Which I kind of would not like to see him get it, but oh, I was hoping he would. We would be playing Jumpman. That one's fun. But this one's also fun. Blind Country. So here we're just gonna watch these two climb up a tall vine and avoid honeycombs and spiders, I guess, for that matter. And it's funny watching DK fall behind if he ends up getting hit by enough things. Oh yeah. It's like Wario. Oh, yep, Wario's got it, which means he's gonna get a star. Well, I'm glad to see I at least have one viewer here, so. Thanks for stopping by.
I do see where you say I talk too much. I guess that is true. But then again, when you have nobody to talk to, really, I mean, what else are you going to do? I almost feel like it would be even weirder to just not say anything while I don't have anybody in the, in the chat room. I have yet to get a 10. I think. Well, no, I haven't gotten a 10 yet, to my knowledge. Maybe I'll get one now. Nope. Okay, well, it's still a good turn. Okay, well, thanks for sticking around for, albeit, I guess, five seconds. <laughs> but I appreciate the comments. Good or bad, I appreciate it. So, thank you very much. Alright, take me home. All these fun, fun puns. Go! Let's play a game of survival here. Let's see what we can do. Jump! This will be even more difficult once the swamps kind of go spontaneously. But we may not get a chance to see it because the computer's on normal difficulty. It's tough. Oh. Of course, he gets hit. So after not being able to win many games at all in the first two days, now I can seem unbeatable. All because I turned, turned down the difficulty level. Alright, and after the first Bowser Rage, we get to start over again. I think somebody's going to get close to pulling up uh, into Bowser's shop. Unless it's there, I don't even remember how long we, it stays there. Maybe it stays until somebody... Um, is it? I don't know. Yeah, what? I wish I could pronounce that like how how you typically would with the accent, but I don't have a good accent. Okay, there we go. That's a big turn. Another twister orb? I don't want. I haven't. Oh, I get a twister orb and then I get affected by a twister orb. Lovely. Come on, let's play cartwheel. Okay, Catchy Tunes is fun. Not quite the same as Ned's itself in Mario Party 6, but still a lot of fun. So we have to collect, what is it, seven different? Okay, five different items. Alright. What's going to be annoying is watching these people jump on my heads. Trouble clef, I need an eighth notes. Ah, I'm doing terrible at this. People keep like jumping on my head. Finish. Yeah, I didn't really feel comfortable playing that game. Okay, so about that Bowser store, surely somebody's going to run into it eventually, at some point. Not bad, not a bad roll for Wario, but I'm sure you could tell you could do considerably better. I don't think that was the store that got crushed. It was another store. Maybe it was that store? I don't even remember. I just realized where it was about to get the second star of this game. Oh my goodness. 
So now I'm behind for the first time ish. Alright, looks like I've got some catching up to do. Where's the next star? Okay, well, I can get there and strike me. I should be able to get that one. I mean, that's to get it a little quicker if I can get myself some mushrooms. Oh, jeez. I remember this one. This one's a fun mini game. I mean, you just gotta be careful that you don't get a, a dark star. I'll actually follow these so I can at least see where everything is. I doubt I would find the one with the star. Oh, and of course, she gets the one with the dark star. That one's gonna sting. So now I'm back in first. <laughs> He's like, yeah, this is where the star was. See, I, that's what I thought. So I guess I followed it perfectly. Too bad I wasn't the one playing. <laughs> I say that Twister actually put her, put Boo in a good position. Unfortunately, he just didn't have enough coins. Uh, yeah, let's throw another one out there. I can actually throw th this one out on that Koopa Kid space and get rid of that space. Since I... Oh. Well, I can stop moving like one to three spaces a turn. That would be, like, great. I would really appreciate it. Cardinal rule. How does this one go? Look at the card in the center of the screen, then ground pound. The car matching card pair. Okay. Pretty simple. Alright, so... Oh jeez, sleeping... No, that's not it. Oh, that was it. I thought there was like two different... But she was... This one was sleeping as well. Jeez, Wario like, tried to foil me by taking a beating. No, I want to pound on this. Oh, that's a net. Oh, well. Hopefully Boo got the right one. I thought that was it. That's why you have a team. Or that's why you have another teammate. To help you when you know you're wrong. I what that vacuum orb is. I think that's one, the one of the special orbs that each character has. Oh, jeez. Wario got a Koopa Kid orb himself, too. Let's see where this one goes. And that's just in front of the DK space. Oh. Now he gets to play the fun blooper mini game. <laughs> I like that. Who? Look who's here. It's... That guy. I guess we should refer to Wario as that guy. Okay. I didn't even see where every item was, so I'm gonna just watch this and be amused by whatever Wario picks. Oh! He got nothing! So he didn't lose anything, but he didn't get anything either. So the star was the right one. Try sometime. Try again sometime if you want. If you can land on the space again after having to travel around the board. That's what they should say. Up oh, and now what that happening space does is that tower leans like the tower of pizza or pizza and we'll send you back to start. Alright, let's get something greater than a one this time. 
It's better, but oh my goodness, I almost landed on another Koopa Kid space. 1v3. Play. Oh yes, it's about time we play a, um, a bonus based mini game. Why not bot? Stop the slot to get coins. And we're just trying to basically on the three player side you're only responsible for pressing one of the buttons, whereas if you're one player you're only trying to push one. I almost kind of would like to play this game on my own, but I trust my teammates. Okay, I take that back. I don't trust them anymore. Come on, Wario. Let's heal Wario. Come on, Birdo! Good job. Is why? Ah, Birdo. You killing me, Smalls? Come on, let's try to get one more. Finish. Nope. You can only get six. I can only imagine how many more coins I would have won if I were just playing by myself and not on a three-player team with two other not-so-smart computers. Oh, these. Let's see. Okay, that's what the vacuum orb does. So basically, you get to take away a certain number of coins. Uh, I was hoping you would have to take away ten coins from me, but oh well. Uh, it's like, help! We're being sucked in, in the words of Knuckles. Oh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Gave us some fun memories with characters cursing. Oh, that stings. So I guess essentially he gained, what, 38 coins? Or, no, 37 coins. My math is terrible. Which is still very good. Okay, well, unfortunately now I've got competition to get to that next star here, and unfortunately with Boo getting a Mushroom Orb and having a turn before me, that does not help things at all. So I'm gonna, I need to get a huge roll just to keep pace. That is not a huge roll. And that... Is that like my third Twister Orb? That, oh, my goodness. This game hates me. It really does. Think Tank. This will go. Oh, okay, this one's, uh... Okay, so basically we're trying to take each other out, or at least take out the one-player side, in my case, so... This should be interesting. I have the controls for Motown and Mario Party 6 were different, I'm sure this is not going to be any different. Ow! I forgot. But more mobile. Whoa, hello. No, you weren't supposed to hit me. No. I don't know if being on the one-player side or the three-player side is easier. Because you can just kind of do rapid fire if you're in the big tank and still probably win this no problem. But I don't know. Is it Bowser time already? Again? I guess so. Alright, let's see what Bowser's got this time. Nobody went to his shop, so let's see what... Is. Okay, and the other thing he does in this board, of course, map is destroy bridges, and of course he has to destroy the... Why you gotta destroy the one I'm on? Why can't you just destroy another one? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Because I think he takes them, takes them all out anyway. No! You... Not only do you knock me off, but you also take out the bridge that has my item on it. And of course, what he's going to do is put bridges with Bowser spaces on them. So that will actually have a pretty good big difference or make some kind of an impact if any one of us lands on a, on a Bowser space. Okay, so we're down to our final five turns. Ooh, Mario just made it over. This is going to be a huge roll for Birdo if you can... She can get some moves. Let's see, 6, 4, 10, 20. Not bad, I get. So it's pretty hard to get 
double tens with the regular mushroom. So she passed me now. I, re I really do need to visit the orb shop. Alright, come on, slow down. Oh, that's not gonna help. Oh, it's so close. Oh, yep. Wait, is this a choice? Is, oh, no, she has to go. Yeah, he gets the choice to decide if he doesn't want to go on the gondola ride or not, so. Unless Birdo gets a big roll, he ought to be. Or she ought to be the one. Or Boo ought to be the one to get it. Not reach Birdo at all. I'm gonna look back at this game and think about all the. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm gonna get mad now. I've like rolled probably a, or moved an average of about like two spaces in these past three turns. I'm not happy. No, if I'm gonna have to. Well. Anyways, with just like with DK, if, if you end up landing on Bowser, you just have to. Uh... Oh, you gotta take all my coins. All right. Well, I guess I better see how I do. So you just have to play one of three different mini games, either depending on if you're doing single or multiplayer. Okay, this one's actually not too hard, so basically we just have to take out these Mecha Koopas before we reach the end, and then grab the key. Should be easy, but you just don't want to get yourself burned. I think we only have 30 seconds to do this, so... I just don't want to get stomped on. Oops, like that. Alright. Alright, one of them's got to have it. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm pressing now. Come on, there you go. I'm just like, somebody's got to have the key. I saved my coins. I still hate that I only moved one space. And, I've, and I'm still not off the bridge. Why didn't you just give up? Because I'm in a position to where I can actually win a Mario Party game for once. That's why. Okay, 2v2. Can we play Hopomatic? Four thousand. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, bumper crop. Load three kinds of vegetables into the truck. You must load two of each one. It's almost like we're taking two of every kind of animal into Noah's Ark. You can't toss while shy guys holding up the X side. I don't remember playing this game. It's been a while. Alrighty. Go! Carrots. Oops, that's not it. Need myself a carrot. That's not it. Finish. How is oh my goodness. I was not good, I admit. I was not good at that game. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I did not do my part, Birdo. I didn't do my part, so I, we deserve to lose. Alright, so now with four turns left, we'll get to see what the negative effect for the remaining four turns is. I, that's boring. I hate boring. Alright, so... Of course, fourth player or fourth place um, character ends up getting to try to affect the outcome of the game. Oh, only 10 coins for a star now. Wow. That's actually pretty good. That's nothing. Wait until I show you what else I can do. Oh, geez. <laughs> I like this. Sheesh, bunch of lousy, no good. No fun, I tell you. Bowser says some of my favorite lines in the Mario Party series in this game. I just only wish I had somebody to enjoy watching these uh, moments with, but it's 
okay. Looks like Birdo's got this one. We're gonna catch up to Boo, pass Boo, and we take the lead. For only 10 coins. Birdo now has another star. So she's basically collected three stars, but she's lost, ended up losing one of them earlier to that mini game um, that the blooper up at the very top of the stage is hosting. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to that one in time or not. Especially since I'm like only moving <laughs> one to three spaces per turn, which is not fun. Oh, looks like I got another viewer. Hello there. How are you? Thank you so much for stopping by. I know it's a little bit um, quiet in the chat, but I appreciate it. And unfortunately, I don't have the ability to do any kind of s Skype at the moment just because I'm still not familiar with it. But again, thank you for stopping by. I'm basically, in case you're aware, I'm just. I wanted to since Mario Party 10 comes out next. Is it Friday? I think. I just wanted to play through all of all um, the nine main Mario Party games. I wanted to play the first three, but unfortunately, I missed. I wasn't able to play them on my Nintendo 64 or set up my Nintendo 64 properly to be able to play them all, or play all three of them, so I started on with four and I've been playing every single one ever since. I'll probably play eight. Good. Alright. Come on. Let's work together, Birdo. Alright, I'll switch with you. This one's actually not bad. Some of the other games where you have to work together with your partner are a little bit more difficult than others. But this one is actually not too difficult. Yeah, Mario Party 10 is going to be fun. I can't wait for it either. I... Have you had a chance to take a look at some of the games that they've had to offer? Some of them are actually pretty cool. Alright, I think we're kind of getting a little behind Birdo. we got to pick up the pace. Let's go. Oh, do not, do not let this thing go in the... No, Birdo! Do not let it fall off. It'll be so hard. Birdo! No! Oh, ah. Uh, you know, I think we've lost this. <laughs> we were supposed to keep it on top of the bridge, not fall into the little dip. Finish. Thanks for nothing. Oh, well. You know, as far as my favorite Mario Party goes, um, you know, that's a good question. I used to say Mario Party 6 was my favorite one, but now I'm not so sure. I think I still, like... Three is my favorite, just because um, not only are there the board maps, but of course there's also the uh, little ba the battle course courses. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. Birdo is trolling me. <laughs> Birdo is seriously trolling me in this in this game. Um, but no, as far as, like, um, my favorite Mario Party, um, course, as we watch, well, hold on a second, let me make sure that we're not playing a multiplayer Bowser mini game, please. Oh, of course we are. Okay, I'll have to hold that thought, because these multiplayer mini games kind of give people fits if they're not comfortable with them. Steal half of our coins, he says. Okay. All right, which one are we going to play? Of course, we're playing the one I feel is the hardest one in the game, Mag Magical Journey. All right. I would talk right now, but I'm going to have to concentrate on this one. This one uh, can... If you've played this one before, this one will give you fits. Okay. All right, well, hopefully everybody else can, like, go early. Or I'll just stay ahead of everybody. Usually I just try to not stay in the middle. Oh. Oh, Wario. Wario! Oh man. He's completely off with his cursor and I did not see how far I was. Dag nabbit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna lose half my coins. Well, hopefully they all, hopefully the other computers can fail so we can all suffer together. Take them out, Koopa kids. Man, you guys' aim sucks terribly. It's terrible. Oh. If I didn't, that railing like blocked my vision of where the edge of the one of the footholds I was standing on was, and so I could not see how far away I was from the edge. And I think that was what cost me my coins, but... Oh well. Jeez. Okay, well there goes another wasted opportunity to try to at least keep myself in the game. But I still have like, we still have, what, three turns left I believe, so it's all good. I know, I'm disappointed too, but... Hey, how about that? I finally get a roll that's bigger than a three. I do not want to go on the Koopa Kid space. I've already had to deal with Koopa Kid and Bowser enough for one game. Spray anything. What is this one about? Um, oh, this one, okay. Actually get to be on the side where we get to gang up on the... Uh, one player. So basically, we're just trying to trap the one player in a blob of water. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Let me see. Let me move. Okay. That's right. I forgot you have to use the. Oh! Bredo was awesome. I guess you don't trap them technically, you just had to hit them. I thought you could actually trap them if you all fired at once and, and all three hit them. But. Thankfully, we didn't have to do that. Hey, the bridges have been fixed. Too bad that couldn't have happened sooner. Although, I guess I didn't get burned. Thanks to the bridges being where they are, but... In any case, they're gone. We don't have to worry about Bowser time anymore for the remainder of the game. <laughs> so you've been playing every Marty Mario Party as well, too? That's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I just thought it would be a cool idea to maybe like play some, and maybe see how many you know viewers I can get. But it's kind of worked a little bit. But I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? I have still got a long ways to go. I'm just now actually feeling comfortable with streaming. I don't get a chance to do it too much, but I want to play. Oh yes, 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 yes. So we'll get a chance to play a DK multiplayer game. Alright, how many bananas? Come on. It's rare to get triple bananas. I would say double is probably the most common. Sometimes you'll see singles where you won't get any excess amount earned or earn any excess amount, but double's still good. So peel out. We do. Okay, this one's random. So we just have to choose whatever direction we go down the slide and hopefully we're fortunate enough to pick up some coins along the way. I'm gonna like just uh, okay one. I'm gonna like just do this back and forth. Finish. Eight's not bad. Everybody got eight except Birdo. Birdo of all people. Of all people, Birdo, or of all dinosaurs, I guess I should say. So she gets a total of six or twenty-two. Well, we all get sixteen. Yep, DK, you are indeed a fine bloke. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, too. <laughs> okay. So, MVP Brony, do you happen to own every single Mario Party game in addition to the ones on the, on the consoles? Do you also own Mario Party Advance, uh, Mario Party DS, and Mario Party Island Tour? Unfortunately, I don't own any of those yet. I only own the consoles. Well, how about that? Oh, here it is. Here's the Bowser store. Nobody's visited it yet until just now, so let's see what he's going to be forced to buy. A golden Bowser statue for... Only 20 coins. Wow. It's a lot for a statue. Oh, I love this next part right here. Where he's going to say, yep, I met my sales quota. 
Now kind of time to get out of the shop. And of course, Koopa Kid is just gonna swipe the statue that's useless anyway. <laughs> I just find it every single one. So you do own every single one. That's pretty cool. I really do need to get every single one. And if only we didn't happen to have that setting where you can only need to spend 10 coins for a star, Boo would not have a star right now. Okay, this can be may be a good thing. No. no. Okay, never mind. I take that back. It's not. There's no way I'm going to be able to get there in time. That's too far. That is way too far. Finally get to finish my turn. Play a four-player minigame. Can we play Cartwheel? Okay, this is the one four-player minigame that I really do feel I love. I love the Dominator. I feel I can just about dominate no matter what the computer difficulty is. All right, let's do this. Well, it takes me like the first lap. Or it takes me the first lap to at least get my bearings correct on the controls, but once I get that under control, then I'm pretty much flying, and I can almost always lap the computers like I have just now. And okay, it's the last lap for me. Everybody's only on the third lap. Oh, I almost broke my record. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Technically, with the with the nine that are on here and the three handheld Mario Party games, then that does make a total of twelve. So, when ten comes out, that'll be thirteen. You are correct. I just realized this is the final turn, so I have to make this one count. <laughs> I like that. You can't buy orbs on the last turn. Sheesh. Who said I was gonna try? Or who said Wario was going to try to buy an orb on the last turn? Okay. Oh, looks like he's gonna fall short of getting a star. But to that, I say, oh, too bad. I know that's a that or that's a sound clip from somewhere. I just don't remember where. If everybody, go ahead, get rid of your orbs right now so you can at least get credit for using them because you never know that may be, be a factor in determining who wins if that bonus star becomes available okay let's see I guess it doesn't really matter where I throw this thing I haven't had any orbs that I've been able to throw where a character has to land on it in order to act Oh, see, now I get a 10. I would have actually preferred to not get a 10 in that instance. <laughs> okay, so I end with losing three coins. That's just great. Yeah, I could win in the bonus stars, but... Um, in case, I'm not sure if you remember. I'm sure you do, but... The, uh, the type of bonus stars that you could get varies. I mean, there used to be... I think for the first five or six games or so that... Um, there would be specific categories, but in this one they've actually varied up to where multiple categories could be possible. And you have no idea what those categories are until after the game ends and they announce it. And I'm probably going to fail in this game too. Oh wait. See what? Ah, oh, I forgot. Oh, snap! I forgot. I think the uh, controls are like, like uh, indirect. Thankfully the computers are on normal so I may actually still be able to survive if they're on brutal or the hardest difficulty I would probably already be dead or be dead in the water literally <laughs> but thankfully I'll survive oh of course I lose one more balloon of course I lose one more balloon yeah, that's definitely a hard mini game to win but when you're on normal, I think you feel the most. You could still probably win, no problem, even if you are down to like your last balloon. But all right, so that's it. So now we'll get to see who the uh, star is. 
So everybody at least got a star. Birdo ended up getting two total. Wario finished with the most number of coins. So we'll see what the bonus stars are. This will determine which everyone gets. Alright. Orb star, action star, shopping star. So, uh, well, I know I'm going to lose. I'm not going to get the shopping star because I didn't get go to a shop or buy anything at all. This one I may win. We'll see. This one's going to be tough. Hopefully I win this one. I need to win this one. I didn't get it. Did not get it. Okay, action star. I don't even think I got this one either. I'm not going to get a single bonus star now. I just know it. Yeah, Boo got it. So I think Boo's going to win. Usually I feel comfortable playing on hard, but or I mean normal. I rarely ever play brutal, but... What are the... Ugh. I feel like Birdo trolled the most to win this game, but for Boo to get every single happening star... I mean, that's pretty pretty rare, but... That just adds to the randomness of Mario Party, especially in this game, so... Looks like Boo got this one. I'm pretty certain I finished third, at the very least. Oh, I fit Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. You know what I'm going to find funny? The, the other two days that I was playing Mario Party and I played the other uh, iterations, I played on the hardest difficulty and I managed to at least get third. I put it on normal just so I could at least give myself a good fighting chance to win. And surely enough, I, I lose. But oh well. that's I'm not going to get too bit out of shape about it, so... Let's look at the final stats. Let's see, so I only had I held 88 coins, but that wasn't enough. Too bad the minigame star wasn't one, or wasn't an option, otherwise I would have dominated that one. That just happened to be one of the categories that I didn't dominate in. But I think it would have been the only one, so I didn't spend any money. I used the fewest number of orbs. I moved the fewest number of spaces. And I think you can even get and uh, there is a star that you can get for, or bonus star you can get for landing on the r most number of red spaces. And I didn't land on any happening spaces, so. Yeah, not a good turn. I, the thing that is going to irritate me the most is the fact that I only moved a total of 89 spaces. And usually I like to move around on the board. So. And I get cruise mileage points. I have, uh,. I haven't unlocked everything in this game in terms of like the special things to see, but I'll show you all real fast here what I've got. A second. Um, here we go, duty free shop. I forgot where we were supposed to go. Okay. Oh, you made it. Good show. Place to buy and view memories of your trip. Okay, well. Let's see. This swap points for souvenirs. What can I get? I haven't unlocked everything in here first, or yet, so... <laughs> I don't get a chance to play this game very much anymore, and unfortunately with this game you can't, um... Use any kind of cheat to actually... Have the computers play the game for you like you could in the first six games, which I really, really loved. Especially if you don't have players, people that you have can buy or play with all often, but... Oh well, what are you going to do? I think I'll at least buy this Kung Fu Koopa t-shirt. A Pagoda Peak Specialty. This t-shirt is officially licensed by Koopa Co. Uh, Koopa Co. I forgot what Co stands for. I think it's... Uh... Wait a second. Don't I have enough? Oh yes, I forgot. It's saying no. That's why I couldn't buy it. Okay. Alright, got it. So I'll at least get one souvenir, but... Yeah, I haven't completely unlocked everything, so... What are you going to do? Alrighty. Well... I only really wanted to just play one board map, and that's what I've been doing every single day. So... I think at this point now, what I'll normally do is I'll go ahead and call it. Because unfortunately, I do have a couple of other things I need to do before I go to bed, so... I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, but... Um... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you don't have a capture card? Well, 
capture card would be nice, but to or it's definitely nice to have, but um, I mean, I'm sure they still make them. So if you wanted to get a capture card, shouldn't be a problem. Um, ordering one online, or even going to like your local, uh, you know, used uh, game shop if you have one and buy one from there. But uh, anyways, that's gonna go ahead or do it for me, guys. Because uh, I do, like I said, I have some things I need to take care of tonight so I can try to get things up and rolling. Uh, in case you're unaware, I do have a YouTube channel by the same name. It's Shadow HB3. Uh, I encourage you all, especially you MVP Brody, because I've been talking to you the entire time. I, I really, if you can, if you can, if you have some time tonight, um, go check out that channel, Shadow HB3. Look at what, a couple of my Let's Plays that I'm doing. And um, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm in the process of uh, doing Donkey Kong Country right now. I'm kind of going a little slow, slower than I hope, but uh, I'd love to get that taken care of, or at least try to get some more video or viewers up on that. So if you get a chance, take a look at that. Let me know what you think. And again, thank you so much for talking to me. It's been fun, and you know, I'll um, just keep in track or touch. You know, if you follow me, that would be great. But I'll try to stream a couple more days or every every day until Mario Party 10 comes out, and I'll see if I can find a way to stream the other games that I messed out on, mainly the N64 ones. But tomorrow will be Mario Party 8, and I'll likely do that sometime after I get home from work, which uh, will be about 5 p.m. Central Time where I'm located. But in the meantime, guys. I hope you all have a nice night. Thanks again for those who are watching me. And um, until then, this is Shadow HB3 signing out, telling you guys stay perky. See you guys in the next.